Hey guys, it's Kevin. I just got back from Vegas. Again, it's another episode of uh, Ask Kevin.、Uh, I get this nice、uh, space in the janitor's closet.、Uh, it's probably the only place quiet in the warehouse. Let's get started.、Um, so I purchased the HP Office Jet Pro 8020 series. My num my number is actually 8025. In mid 2020, so less than two years ago. And it works great. The scanning, everything works great. However,、um, I did run out of ink about three or four months ago, but I didn't really need the printing aspect of it, so I never replaced it right away. Okay, three to four months is a long time for leaving an empty cartridge in the printer.、Um, and I recently just signed up for Instant Ink, and I received all new cartridges for all four colors. When I put them in. The print the page prints out great. It's clear, sharp. However, only yellow and black are printing. I'm not able to print the cyan or magenta. Isn't she great? I mean,、uh, I rarely get the、uh, colors that, that explain things so well. I'm happy that the black is not clogged. Actually, that's the most likely color to get clogged. By clogging, I also mean that the black is. Most likely to wear out because that's most color you use, and also HP most likely to put a pigment in it, and、uh, the pigment wear out the black、uh, sooner than the other colors. So not all the clock are actually clock, but I'm happy that your black is working. Yellow is rarely clocks, so I'm not surprised about about, about the yellow is working, and、uh, the reason. She didn't get a black clock. As you're gonna hear later, is she's keeping using the black. Cyan and magenta is more likely to clog, and、uh, magenta usually is the first one to clog, but it's a little bit easier to unclog. Um. So I cleaned the printer head several times. I ran a a, a diagnostic. It did like a quality control page. Um. It won't. It won't do the alignment for some reason. I, like I print the page for the alignment, it looks good, but then when I go to scan the page for the alignment, it says that I'm un unable to scan the page. When you have a clock to print that, don't do the alignment. It doesn't make sense. Actually, if you don't have a problem with alignment, just don't do alignment at all.、Uh, alignment is going to use a cyan. And、uh, this is the reason that you cannot scan it, but it look good. It look good because all the black part look good, but it's missing the cyan color. So when you scan it, it's missing the cyan, and the alignment gonna fail. So I'm thinking that maybe it's clogged for the cyan, and the, and the printer head is clogged for the cyan and the magenta because I haven't used it in several months.、Um, I only use the black. For several months, so the black is fine, but the yellow is still fine. Although I haven't used the yellow either.、Uh, that's a great guess. That's what I'm thinking too. The black is not clogged because you keep using the black. I just wanted to get some advice before I take the next steps on either repairing or just replacing my printer altogether. I think the problem is not that severe, and、uh, you should be able to recover your printer without、uh, replacing it. We have a lots of a、uh, printer like this has been dry for a couple years, and we were able we were able to revive it, and、uh, we revive it, and then we sell the print net. Okay. Anyway, if you don't, if you cannot get it working, just email me again. And,、uh, I'll hook you up with a really nice print net that we salvaged. I know you have a zero twenty five, but I'm going to use a six nine seven eight for today.、Uh, they are basically the same printer. Everything behind it is、uh, similar.、Uh, they use different cartridge model, but、uh, their printhead exactly the same. Guess what? If you stuck a zero twenty five printhead into this printer six nine seven eight, it still works.、Uh, this printer the custom brought in. And、uh, just like yours,、uh, it's been idle for a couple months. And guess what color working? What color is not working? Okay. Before you do the cleaning, make sure that your cartridge is physically has enough ink. And、uh, I usually do this by weighing it. For the scale, you can go to Amazon and search for jewelry scale. It normally is under ten dollars, or you can just、uh, scroll down. I'm gonna put、uh, the the link in the description. If you want to know what kind of ink I use, oh,、uh, 
I'll be this in a says for uh, PG two forty two forty three, and just don't worry about it. It's the, it is this. Uh, I, I'm going to put a link in the description so you can click it and get it. Uh, you don't absolutely need a scale. You can just do this. Just put it on uh, some paper and uh, drip ink until you see the ink coming out from the other side. You're going to make a mess, so make sure that you put enough paper on there. The weight for a full one should be 25 for the colors and uh, 30 gram for the black. I don't care what your ink monitor says. Uh, when you put it back, the ink monitor will not show the new ink level. Just ignore it. Uh, another thing is I know you have instant ink. If you do not have instant ink, uh, the HP will show you the warning cell. The ink is low, the ink is depleted. Uh, that's just what the printer says. If you keep printing, eventually the warnings will go away, and you can just refill the printer this way and keep using the keep using it. Now we have ink in the cartridge. We use the printer building function to clean it three times. Every time uh, by the end of cleaning, I ask you to clean again or not. You say clean again. So each time you say clean again, the intensity of cleaning going to go up a, a notch. So you do three times. Then stop and uh, wait an hour. After an hour, and uh, do exactly the same thing. Do it three more times. Uh, Sometimes you're going to see a color is okay in the first time, but it's completely gone in the second time. And just like this, as long as you have enough ink in the cartridge, don't worry about it. How do you know you have enough ink in the cartridge? Wait it. So after three cleaning, wait an hour, and the three cleanings. So you did six of them uh, in the first day. Now. Uh, wait 12 hours or 24 hours, even better. Just wait for the second day. Day two, you start with adding enough ink in the cartridge and uh, do three plus three again. At the end, you did 12 cleanings. And if your printhead is still not good after 12 cleanings, we we'll need some professional cleaning. Actually, the first uh, 12 cleanings that I just showed is what we ask our customer to do if they receive a printer that's not working. And then we're gonna take the printer back. And uh, next, I'm gonna show you professionally how we clean it. Start a printer as soon as the cartridge move. Uh, uh, shut down the power. Get a piece of paper towel, fold it like a diaper, and put underneath the printhead. Next, we're going to use a professional tool. You can go to bchtechnologies.com, accessories, anti-clogging agent, and uh, you need this uh, Flash 900. Also, on a side note, next time if you going to leave a cartridge empty for a while, and uh, just flip the cartridge over and uh, drip some of those uh, wetter solutions. Maybe second page. Yeah, here is print and maintenance and uh, wetter solution. What this one does is uh, keep the print as moisturized, so you don't have this problem in the future. We're going to inject 2 ml of cleaning fluid into each color. Make sure when you inject, you feel a little bit of resistance, but do not push too hard. Remember, you only need to do this for the colors that are clogged. You don't need to do for the black in this instance. Uh, so I don't even remove the black. After it's done, put uh, the cartridge back. Your goal is not to push the old ink out. Your goal is put the cleaning solution in the uh, printhead and leave it overnight. Let the cleaning solution do its work. And also do not heat up the cleaning solution. Just use as room temperature. The cartridge just put it down there to keep the printhead moist. OK, second day, OK, what's the first thing you do? First thing you do is add more ink. Make sure that you get enough ink. So the next day, just uh, don't discourage if it doesn't look good, and uh, do not be too optimistic if it looks good. So this is first one, and the second one is you can see is uh, the the magenta have some uh, strap there, and the uh, third one still needs some work. So after third one, don't forget that now we're break. Even worse after the break, then voila, beautiful. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnology.com or locally at Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers. 
Or I forgot to tell you the secret phone number and the handshake. Phone number. Phone number. Go to Google and、uh, search for BCH Technologies phone number. And here's the phone number. And、uh, the secret handshake is、uh, what's short staffed. So you're probably going to go to voicemail. So in the voicemail,、uh, make sure that you say this, Kevin. I give you full permission to use my voice on the YouTube. And then describe your problem as clear as possible. After that, shoot me an email so I can get your email address and、uh, email to support at bchtechnology.com so we can go back and forth and discuss if I can solve your problem or not. Okay, I hope you enjoy this video even more. Visit us at www. bchtechnology. com or locally, Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers.